Welcome back everyone. Today we're going over Saito, the lead man right there, who's going to do a crazy amount of damage on the Fire Knight. So what we're looking for are champions that do lots of damage that aren't capped by 10% of enemies max HP. People that do Karma Burn, people like Cold Heart, people like Royal Guard that do damage based off of enemy max HP or Poison Explosion. This guy is going to do well over that kind of damage that they can do. And it's really good because Saito is a great champion that can be used in Arena as well because we've used him. We did a month ago, we did a Platinum Arena video killing Duchess. Going through Platinum Arena and just hunting down those Duchess teams and lighting them up. Now, right now, he doesn't do the AI we want, though. And we are going to be able to lock skills soon. Believe me, we're going to be able to do skill priorities soon because what we want is for him to do an AoE move to weaken the enemy to make it so Seer, so our Karma Burn on Seer doesn't have to... Seer doesn't have to be as strong. And right now, with Seer, everybody needs to have her in a Savage set with really high critical damage. If you're trying to get these fast runs done with Lydia or whoever else you're bringing in there, the best thing to do with Seer is, of course, Savage Gear. Anytime you can ignore defense, you're going to do more damage and then get her critical damage up as high as possible. So right now, we just started doing 160,000. Now, 269, I think, is the max on this boss. 263, so we're ramping up, is the max on the boss if you're doing damage based off of enemy max HP. Right there, you just saw it with that Seer. 269 she hit for. That's our A1. Now, when he loops back around, he does his A2 and his A3 a lot. And if we had gear on him to not put those skills on cooldown, if we had other accessories, we could probably get even more damage and even faster runs. My fastest run so far, 344,000, well over the cap for people who do damage based off of enemy max HP. 220 there, and then he's going to do one more big one here at the end on that A3. That A3 hits really hard. 20% additional damage when the enemy has... 369 when the enemy has higher max HP than him it's crazy it will light Duchess up it will hit her for like 200,000 she won't be coming back from that unless swift parry procs or we can't crit because of accessories you know don't worry about that stuff just know that using a champion like this doubles up so we're not putting our best gear on somebody that we're not going to use we're just like somebody that we're just going to use only for dungeons we're putting some of our best gear on somebody that we're going to use to do these speed runs through Fire Knight, through Dragon, through wherever else you want to bring him. And I should have tested him on 12-6 Nightmare Campaign. I wonder if he can farm there. No, he doesn't have two AoEs and that other AoE takes a minute to go back. I'll try it in a minute when I get off this stream and I'll let you know in the notes. But let me know down below if you know other champions that can hit hard like this. That do really well that aren't people that do damage based off of enemy max HP. I'm curious to see how Inquisitor Shamal will do here. If we can give him an increased attack or get him enough buffs so that he'll ignore defense on his A2. Or is Seer going to eat all the buffs away and then it's not going to work with Inquisitor? We need more people like this, basically. I need to find more champions like this, like Krutrexa, like him, Saito here, that do mass amount of damage. And we don't have to worry about that enemy max HP cap that the bosses all have now. We can get in here and make these runs faster. He's going to hit pretty hard. Let's see. He just buffed himself up. He's so good because he buffs himself up with that critical damage. 30, 30 extra critical damage and 50% additional attack all by himself. So we don't have to bring it in. And then on a team like this, when we're trying to get Seer to drop the waves with Lydia or your Bad Alcazar and your decreased defense and weaken, it's hard to bring in a lot of other champions. We don't because we've got our reset. We've only got room for that one last one, which is Saito. 2 million damage right there. 2 million, and the most of that was on the boss. It wasn't even AoE. So on this one, I'm going to go through and I'm going to pause it. You see how it says full auto and you see my cursor right next to it? Look, I stopped it. I'm going to have him do his AoE. Look how much. Look how low we made them. We lowered their, their HP by about, I don't know, we hit them for like 25% of their HP. Uh, I was supposed to do it on that one too. And then Seer didn't have to be as strong as she dropped them all down. Here we go. AoE again. Now Seer drops it down. When we can lock skills in, or at least set skill priority, we'll make sure that he always does his A3 over his A2. Same thing we're going to want to do in Arena as well. Otherwise, you have to pause it in Arena and make sure he does his AoE, because he always tries to do his A2. Let's see what other kind of damage we can get here. And then, that's going to work. It's going to work out really well for us. Anything we can do to make it so we don't have to have our Seer as strong is always a good thing. Because it's really hard now. It is super hard now to make a, a Seer strong enough to drop the waves with just Lydia and Seer. That's why those new accessories in Clan vs. Clan are so strong. I don't care about them necessarily for PvP, but for PvE content to get that additional shield up for your Lydia right here, your Alert, and your Saito, 
that's one additional shield. It doesn't count toward the shield set we have, the shield artifacts that we have over on our Prince Kaimar. It puts an additional buff up there, and anytime we get those an additional buffs for Seer, it makes it much easier. Much, much easier, and then you don't have to have crazy 300. I think I have 326 critical damage on my Seer right now in a Savage set, which is pretty nuts. I don't know. It's pretty wild. 387 there at the last. That was a minute and 35. I'll take it. He is working out really well for me. I'm definitely going to leave him in my Fire Knight 25 farming team. If you want to farm 24, that's fine. We'll find other champions. Certain champions out there have the potential to do an amazing amount of damage to 21 to 25 stages. And they can also, hopefully, there'll be some champion that can double up and we can also use an arena or somewhere else to where we're not only just using them for our damage dealers in the dungeon. Because we don't have that kind of gear, right? Nobody's got... <laughs> nobody's got all this gear just to gear up all these different people for all these different situations it's too hard right it's too hard to have amazing top tier gear on everyone unless you've just been farming forever but this guy is a beast in arena i'm not sure how well i showcased him in that video because he didn't have books back then we were in platinum arena we were taking out dutches so it must have been decent even without books so I'll leave a banner up to show you that video if you want to go check out that video and see how he does there. If you're not sold on getting some good damage out of your Saito, using him on 21 to 25, and then also using him in your arena battles. All right, we're going to do a few more on Duchess, and that's it. Then we'll look at his masteries. We'll look at his gear. He could get increased defense if we did an AoE to Seeker. But we're going to hit Duchess first because it hits single target first, and then it does the AoE. So Duchess is usually taking anywhere from 150, 130 to 200,000 damage. And we weak hit on that Cantrophon and we still lit him up. I think this is one of our last battles. After this, we'll get into the gear. There we go. 204,000. Done. The Undead Samurai with Flaming Swords. We have critical damage and a Savage set on him. We have critical damage gloves, attack chest piece, attack boots. We do have critical damage here. Attack is the banner. And then on this one, this is the only clan versus clan piece I have in my whole entire inventory and we were testing it out to make sure that this is an additional buff on top of our shield set from our artifacts and it is so anytime you can get these just put one on your lydia one on your allure one on whatever else i just talked about a minute ago anybody that goes in front of your seer and she'll have an additional buff you won't have to have your seer as strong i think i've explained that a million times already sorry about that his total stats are 5190 for his attack we've got 278 critical damage he really doesn't have super high base attack not compared to a lot of other people out there but he does just fine the ring that i have here with increased defense and defense really wasn't that that bad because on his a2 as long as our defense is higher than the enemy's defense we'll get the increased attack increased critical damage and if we're attacking them and they still have 50 percent hp this will go down by one turn so we get it back even sooner and then this move just does so much damage 20 percent additional damage the multiplier on this is crazy for that one single hit and then the aoe multiplier to everyone else isn't anywhere near as strong but it's good enough the A1 here can decrease defense, and if you do decrease defense, we get it an additional attack. So maybe we should give him some accuracy. The greatest thing about this is on a long fight, we're going to ignore 30% defense. That's why our damage was ramping up. On those long fights, 25, 24, over time, we're going to start to ignore 30% additional defense. That's why we started hitting really hard, and he's got a good lead for our dungeons. Now for the masteries, I just went for a PvE, PvP mastery, and I think it's the best one to use for both PvP and PvE. I want to do damage through shields. If they have shields up, I want to get that additional 25% damage. We've got more damage if they have higher max HP. We're going to ramp up our damage for people we kill. Then we have Helm Smasher because we're using him in PvP and PvE. That's fine for him. And then the rest over here to get additional damage. And then I did go over here to Evil Eye. I love Evil Eye. We got additional accuracy and Sniper to get a higher chance to place that decreased defense so that if we do place it, we'll get that additional hit on his A1. I've really been loving him. I think he's been great in Arena so far. I'm loving him in Dungeons. I'm definitely going to keep him for now as my main Fire Knight DPSer. All those runs you saw, those are what you're going to see every time right now if you see me on stream. Let me know what you think about Saito down below. I'm in love with him right now. Thank you everyone for watching. Appreciate your time. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all in a video soon.